Hey, what's up? I'm Snidos, I'm a spy man, and this video is going to be focused on having the right config settings for improvement, such as graphic settings, net settings, view model, and a couple other things in there. This guide should be able to help you with stutters, FPS issues, visual clutter, pretty much everything that would be impacting you from playing normally. And just a quick note for anybody watching, many of the settings in here can be tuned to your personal preference. I can't force you to play on something that you don't want to, even if it does give you an advantage. So, take some of what I say with a grain of salt, however, some things in here I would argue are objectively better than playing on default or a different preferred setting, as the advantage they offer you is far too great to pass up. FOV stands for Field of View, and it basically determines how much of your screen you're actually able to see. The default FOV is extremely low and it does not allow you to see much. I'll put up a side-by-side -side comparison showing you the difference between 90 and 75 FOV. It's pretty dramatic how much of the map it actually shows you, so I really would recommend that you play on 90, and to do that, you can do this by going into Options, Video, Advanced, and field of view. You bring this slider up to 90, hit OK, hit apply, hit OK again. I'm not doing that because right now I have current settings on and this would cause my game to freeze for the recording, so I'm not going to touch this. Another way to also change it would be to go into keyboard, advanced, enable developer console, OK, apply, and then type in FOV underscore desired 90. This command should save, and I'm pretty sure that with master config, it automatically puts it on 90. However, if you're somebody who does not want to use master config, for whatever reason that may be, then you can just do this, and it'll work the exact same. Now, view models and view model FOV are preference for the most part, as long as they don't significantly affect your viewing. I recommend minimized view models with view model underscore FOV 90. This gives you the most possible visibility while still allowing you to see your guns. Except for on Heavy. Heavy's Muscle Flash blocks way too much of the screen when firing, and I'll give an example right here. Just blocks up a lot of the screen directly in the middle, so don't use that. Instead, either disable the view model entirely with the command on screen, or use Yttrium's competitive view model installer. Yttrium's is an application you can use to disable weapon-specific view models, and works for nearly every weapon and item in the game. I'll have it linked below in the description, just make sure to read the thread and how to use it properly, or else the view models won't work when you load into the game. Master Config is made by Mastercoms and makes hundreds upon hundreds of tweaks to the game for the better, such as net settings, sound settings, graphic settings, you name it. Whatever can possibly be done in TF2, it's been done in Master Config, and it will make your game run smoother, guaranteed. Since Master Config has already been covered in depth so much by Mastercoms herself, and she has her own website, I'm just going to link directly down to that instead of wasting time showing you how to install it. For graphic settings, I'd recommend using Master Config set presets on her website, or tweaking the modules or tweaking from her website. There's a lot of options for customization before you even install the config, so I recommend you actually look into that and customize it to your liking. Personally, for the best FPS and least amount of visual clutter, I prefer low preset, with um, pretty much everything in the module set to low except for water and my LOD. And just as a reminder, everything that can be done on Master Config's website has instructions, and if you do have any problems, then you can go into Mastercom's official Discord and ask questions there. They have an entire section dedicated to config help. Now we're on to DX level. TX level is the version of DirectX TF2 runs, and I'm going to explain why this is important. Uh, what specific DX level you run will have a significant impact in your game FPS and visibility. So for example, DX81, which is what I'm using, will give you the best possible FPS and make pyro flames easier to see through. So for example here. It's not a super significant difference, but it's still a difference. It will also make um, the game look very washed out though, so game looks very bland, very colorless. And it also removes uh, weapon skins from showing, and also uh, killstreak sheens. So for example on one of my revolvers here, which is Hot Rod, and has a skin on it. 
it's only showing the Festivizer. It doesn't actually show the skin and doesn't show the killstreak effect. Now, DX level 90 and above, which would be 95, 98, 100, will bear the best looking graphics and vibrant colors, usually regardless of graphic settings. But it makes Pyro Flames harder to see through, and it gives you a lot less FPS. Another thing to note is that this may differ from person to person. One person on DX95 may get great performance, and another may get significantly worse, just for every other DX level. So I get really good performance on DX81, but somebody else may get really bad performance on it. And for me and the explanation that I just gave, this is all just kind of a baseline. You really need to test this and experiment for yourself to see which one gives you the best possible outcome. Now to actually change your DX level, you're going to open Steam, you're going to right click on TF2, go to properties, and in the launch options, you're going to type in dash DX level, and for me in this case, uh, I'm going to use 95, so DX level 95, I'm going to launch my game, and you may notice your game will take a little bit longer to open, that's fine. It's normal whenever you have DX level in the launch options. Now that the game has been opened, what you want to do is you want to close the game. And after closing the game, you want to go into the launch options again. And you want to remove your DX level command entirely. Now the reason we're doing this is because leaving the DX level command in the launch options causes performance issues. and it only needs to be typed in once and then removed after a restart. So now if we were to launch our game again, everything would be fine. We wouldn't have any crashing issues, any black screen issues. Uh, none of that would happen. And that's all you need to do to change your DX level. Now for net settings, once you install master config, it's automatically going to change most of your net settings, if not all of them, to be an optimal value for playing. And from there, you really don't need to touch them or think about them at all. They're set to good values, and I'm going to be honest, there really is no point in tweaking them. This part of the video is going to regard mods that will help with your visibility. So, one mod that I like to use a lot is called No Explosion Script, and this basically makes your explosions a very tiny particle. I have mine set to the building being destroyed particle. Another mod would be No Hats. Uh, no Hats mod is actually really great because it does help with your FPS. I personally don't use it, I like seeing my hats in game, but if you are somebody running on a lower end system, it will definitely help and you will see a big performance increase. And finally, the last thing would be Soldier Left Hand Original Fix, which is a mod I'll have linked in the description like everything else. And it basically fixes it so that your original will be able to not have the left arm in the view model, no matter what FOV you're playing on or min mode, it pushes it far to the side. The segment of the video is going to be for NVIDIA users, so if you don't have an NVIDIA GPU, then you can't do this. To start, you're going to click on the arrow on your taskbar, you're going to right click on the NVIDIA icon, go to NVIDIA control panel, then you're going to go to adjust image settings with preview, select the middle option, then you want to go to manage 3D settings. Alright, so we'll start from the bottom, vertical sync off, triple buffering off, threaded optimization on. Texture filtering trilinear optimization on. Texture filtering quality high performance. Negative LOD bias on allow. Anisotropic sample optimization, you want that on. Shader cache size, you want that on driver default. Preferred refresh rate, you want this on highest available. Power management mode, you want on prefer maximum performance. If you're on a laptop, I'd recommend just keeping this at uh, normal. Uh, modern technology, this is preference. I play on fixed refresh. I think that's gives you the best possible image. And low latency mode off. This will actually cause you stutters, so I recommend having this off for TF2. Then you want to go to change resolution, and you want to make sure that you're playing on the max refresh rate possible for your monitor. The reason why you want this on the highest setting is to have the smoothest image possible for your monitor during motion. But yeah, that's it for the video. Sorry if I made anything uh, a little bit confusing. Uh, this is my first time ever doing this style of editing, and it's really, really hard for me to ever try editing or doing a new kind of style. Big learning curve, so 
I hope I made everything well enough that it was digestible. And yeah, that's it. See ya.